We're coming to you live from Tokyo, Japan at the world famous Krokyo Dome. You know, world famous doesn't mean as much as it used to since most of the world is a charred wasteland, but you get the meaning. Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Kansas City Creeps take on the Tokyo Terminators. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hello once again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Huh? Hey, how'd your checkup go? Well, good news, bad news. Doc says I passed my physical. Oh, that's good. But I flucked my model. Not too good. Well, I, it's 50-50. He's better off than I get in Vegas. Got a point. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. <laughs> Second down and a lot. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. He's not going down. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. I'm going in circles. And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. Crap appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. Second down, and we've got an offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down in a mile. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. away from that tackle he's rumbling and stumbling he could go all the way oh holy smokes he just killed that player with a cheap shot that's why we love the mfl It's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Second down and long. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. And that's a catch for three yards. Third down and, well, good luck. He refuses to go down. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. <laughs> the 
They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. First and ten. It was a risky throw, and the defense made him pay. He'll have to hope for amnesia or brain damage and move on. And like Bricks' balls, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. <laughs> Second down and seven. Oh, the receiver has to make that catch. Now he put the team in a hole. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Hot one, hot two. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can Oh, my God, a man from prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot. The defenders want to beat you. down! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Well, this shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my offseason. <laughs> First and ten. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one. And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just guineas. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. 
And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Man, what a hit that was! And it's first and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. First down and three. Oh, what a brutal hit! Second and three. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't lowland. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and ten. I think the defenders are scared of this. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Whoa, that is one big mutant sandwich down there. One guy's definitely toast. That's what you call a club sandwich, Grim. Second down in a very lot. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a... Uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? It's the end of the first quarter, and I just want to say that this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Other than my mother-in-law, of course, wearing that moo moo. Is she gonna dry clean that before she gives it back to me? And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now and is gonna try and score. Oh, and that's oh come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> that's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, I love this dirty trick. And he snatches that one out of the air with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. I've had it out. 
I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw it to the guy. Oh, what a hit. Hey, Briggs, what does it feel like to get hit like that? Uh, like being dropped off a 10-story building with a refrigerator strapped to your back and landing on a fire hydrant. Yeah, great analogy. Oh, no, no, that really happened. Cod game got a little out of hand last night. You can't have five aces, you dumbass. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Briggs. Uh, good night to that guy, Briggs. You're an idiot. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome! I hope they have raincoats in the front row, cause that was splattering everywhere! Second down and nine. They've called a zap attack. The quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack! Third down, and the punter is warming up. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the top. Oh, look at this guy break tackle. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. <laughs> That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And that'll bring up second and one. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Uh, did you just say greatest hits? Wham! Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> when you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. The defense called a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, Grim, but it keeps coming back to him. <laughs> Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. Defense holds him to a four yard pick up there. Third down and long. And that was a bone 
crusher right there, folks. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore grin. Third down and never get... And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. down and the offense needs a miracle. And he was steering a pick six but dropped the interception. And it plays on defense, schmuck. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he got an... That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. He just got crushed. And it's first and ten. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the deep. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your judges. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. First and ten. I'm surprised no one uses the electric carving knife anymore, Brick. No, this is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Well, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but yeah, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoes. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. First and eight to go. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade, which is the Mary Margaret of our ladies of holy hell. Yeah, I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. The defense is leaving the team with just one timeout, so they better bring the ball back gift-wrapped. Is it time for a ribbon or a ball, Grim? 
Maybe if they used their last time out. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it. Third down and, well, good luck. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim. Oh, boy. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and... They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have nine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. Receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Rex. Very smart. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run! Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. <clears throat> and the hurry up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Now, this one's going to be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. He looked okay, I think. Not my type, though. A little too... He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just getting the points, and let's move on. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. force meets the explodable object. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. <laughs> the burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuff burrito from Taco Hell. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show, sponsored by Monsatan Industries. Makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. Boy, these guys are going to need to pull off a huge comeback in the second half to win this game. Here comes the kickoff. Grim, they're toast. Why do we even come back and bother? This is a waste of our time. Yes, if only one team is going to show up, why should we have to? Oh, now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Oh, he got mugged. More like a mafia hit. moving that was beautiful at some point they're gonna need to put this rep out of his misery uh how about now for instance here's a hit dirty tricks attack the rep and this is a first and long and the offense jumps off sides to kill the rep they say we're mad as hell and not gonna take it anymore First down and forever. And that one's incomplete. The receiver couldn't get there. And neither could his mother. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. That ball was almost intercepted. There's a bloody red head on the field. No, that's their red penalty marker, Briggs. Looks like this one's coming back. And it's first and ten. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fat ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, yeah, still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, oh, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. The offense lost their final running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. They're lucky to have survived so much bad luck, carnage, and death, Grim. And it's first and ten. Huh? Huh? I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. No doubt about it. That guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. Second down in a mile. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. They're getting on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. I got a saw up right on this asshole. because the defense called a time warp dirty trick and transport their offense back in time. It's just a jump to the left. And a step to the right. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the rep didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. First down and five. Reception. Easy to give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. And he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Pow! 
with the brain scrambler. The offense is down to their last quarterback. If they lose him, they lose the game. And it's first and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah, that's why he's so popular. Oh! If you ever do that again, Bricks, I'll shoot you in the head. People like it. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Turner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. Crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Well, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. Oh, man, Bricks, you've got to love a player who goes down fighting. It's a touchdown! You know, Bricks, we might be seeing the birth of a new dance craze. This guy may not be programmed to feel love or pain, but, man, he is programmed to get down and get funky. The offense lost their last quarterback. Next time their offense comes out on the field, they will have to forfeit the game. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hat. The Tokyo Terminator has terminated the opposing team into a bloody mess, and they are programmed to do. They win by forfeit. There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now and we go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say? Once again, the folks at Evil SM thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.